Today I'll not just be teaching you how to remotely control any computer from your phone, I will also be teaching you how to hack it. I mean, what do you expect? You want me to do a video without hacking? Well, then my name would be Mr. Hacker. Why would it? <laughs> so the first thing you need is a Windows computer right here. It could be a laptop. It could be a desktop. It could be a VM. It could be whatever, right? So the whole idea behind it is you need a target. I mean, without a target, there's literally nothing to do. <laughs> now, the second tool you need or device you need is a phone, right? So a phone would then allow you the ability to download, say, Termex, and from Termex, you're able to run Color Linux within it, and from Color Linux, you're now able to probe the device to check for something called RDP. So RDP is a remote desktop protocol that allows you to remotely connect over into a targeted device, and then after which being able to look into the screen of it and click around, all right? So you are able to do lots of things from there. So yeah, in a large sense, I am teaching you how to hack from your phone. And before we get started, kids, remember, hacking is illegal. If you get caught hacking, don't tell them you know it's Mr. Hacker Boy. And the next thing you need to seriously do is to smash the like button, turn on notification to the channel so that you don't get hacked. So now, let's go. So the first thing you need is, of course, a computer in order for you to target into. <laughs> okay. So what you can do is go to bottom left side, you go ahead and enter remote access, all right? Allow remote access to your computer. Hit enter on the first one. And you can see right here, okay, we have something really interesting. This is the part we're focusing on, remote desktop, okay? And we want to take on to the second option, which is allow remote connections to this computer. So go ahead and select onto the second option, allow remote connections to this computer, and you want to select users. So in this case, I've selected Loy Liang Yang as the user. So these are the users within the computer who are then allowed to use their credentials to access into the desktop through remote desktop protocol. And once you're ready, click OK, click Apply, click OK again, done. And what you need to do next is to take out your phone and go into Google Play Store. So if you're on Android, all right? So of course, if you're on iPhone, you can go into Apple App Store. So once you click on the Google Play Store, you want to search, in this case, for Microsoft Remote Desktop. Go ahead and click on it. And once you click then, go ahead and download it, install it. And right here, you can see I have already downloaded and installed it. So go ahead and click open. And once you're right here, all right, you can go to the top right corner and you click on the plus. All right, so what I'll do now, I'll go ahead and remove this one and show you how to add one right here. To the top right corner, click plus, add PC. All right, so here you can see that there is an identification within the network that you're in, which has the computers that are open to remote desktop connection. Okay, so here I can double click onto one of them. All right, this is the target I have here. And once you have it, go ahead and click connect. And what you need to do now is to supply the username and the password that was used or that is used to log in into the Windows computer. So I go ahead and enter Loy Leong Yang is the username and the password. Of course, in this case, we don't know the password. I enter the password right here now. Of course, you're able to see that. Click continue and connect. Boom, we are in. We can see right here now, as simple as that, we have gained access into the Windows computer. Well, that was really easy, wasn't it? I know what you're thinking. How can we hack that? So what you do now is you pull up and go into Termux, right? Go ahead and click on it. And once you're right here, okay, what I'll do is I'll show you the whole example of things is going on, all right? So let me go ahead and exit on this one, clear. Okay, so once you're in Termux, this is what you will see, or right? you see something that's very familiar as though you're in a Linux desktop or whatnot. And what you want to do now is you can go ahead and enter Net Hunter, and that will bring you into Kali. So once you're in Kali Linux, what you can do here is you can think about scanning whether the device has remote desktop protocol or port open. Okay, so what you can do is you can use something like Nmap to help us do just that. So go ahead and enter Nmap followed by dash P. In this case, RDP uses 3389 as the port, 3389 followed by the target IP address. So in this case, 192.168.0.185. All right, followed by slash 32 or whatever. And you go in and enter dash PN, hit enter on that. And you can see right here, we have the following results. Beautiful, look at that. So you can see right here, we have 3389 that is open to the world. And what we can do next is to use tools like Hydra, Crowbar to help us brute force into the RDP service. So what I can do here now is to create a file that will store all these credentials. So in this case, say for example, what I can do now is go ahead and enter vin, all right, crats.txt. Okay, so here I got several examples of possible passwords. And what I can do now is I can go ahead and remove them 
and I can insert them. Okay, I can insert new list of passwords. So maybe password could be like one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So again, all these are the different commonly used passwords. I could download them. All right, hacker Loy is very handsome as a password. We saw that from a few of the videos that was created. All right, so that's a potential password that's used. And once you're done, go ahead and save it. All right, done. And what hackers usually do is that they go over into all these data breaches that has the usernames, email addresses, passwords that are being exposed and use them to gain access into this services. So if a computer belongs to a specific company or corporate, they could then use those existing email addresses, or usernames, or commonly used email addresses, usernames, and be able to supply again, those breached passwords and use them to gain access into the device. Next up, once you're ready, all you got to do right now is use a tool like Hydro, supply the username, supply the list of passwords in a target IP address, hit enter on that. Let's see what we get right here. Boom. You can see over here, we have the RDP of Loy Liang Yang password of 1234567 and that's how you do hacking from the phone.